Hey guys, welcome to AOB TV. I'm Mark Brooks, founder of Art of Baseball. You're watching the AOB Swing Analysis Series, where you tell me whose swing you'd like to see next, and I'll show you what you can learn from those swings to become a better hitter who stands out in the lineup. So this episode is on Mike Trout and how he is able, how he's been able to hit for both power and average, and so what we can kind of learn from that in this particular swing analysis. So let's get to it. Now, you know, what I really like most about Mike Trout and his swing is the fact that, well, you know, he's not afraid to be aggressive. He doesn't walk a lot, but he's not afraid to be aggressive, especially not only just when he's ahead in the count, but when he's behind in the count. So this was an 0-0 count, and this was a fastball that was middle in, all right? And that's where, you know, that's the first thing that I kind of want to talk about with his swing. This was a pitch that was middle in. Um, it was an 0-0 count, and where does he hit the ball? He makes the point of contact fairly deep in the zone. And again, you can kind of look at from here how the catcher's getting ready to catch the ball. You can see how, how his wrist kind of turns. It's facing towards the, the third base dugout. This was a pitch that was middle in. Uh, what's interesting is, you know, where Mike Trout hits it. He hits it uh, right over the second baseman's head. And, uh, and so th that's what I want to talk about. So this was a pitch middle in again. And the first tip that I want, I want you guys to kind of understand, and this is probably something that you've heard before, is he lets the ball get deep, right? He's letting the ball get deep, uh, even on a pitch like this, which was middle in. And basically what that allows hitters to do at all levels is it provides them with the most amount of time to make the necessary adjustment uh, on the pitch. And so you, you'll see a lot of guys with higher batting averages guys like Derek Jeter, Ichiro Suzuki, who are phenomenal hitters who are able to have that, I guess you can consider it an inside-out swing, but essentially what it is, it's the ability to, to hit the ball where it's pitched, but still attack the inner half of the baseball. So that's the first tip, is to let the ball travel, let the ball get deep, right? Point of contact, boom, you let the ball get deep, hits it over the second baseman's head. Um, the last concept, or the second concept that I want you guys to understand is that not only is he letting the ball travel, he's letting it get deep, but this kind of is a little bit counterintuitive, counterintuitive or kind of uh, the exact opposite to what I discussed about with uh, Bryce Harper in, in our previous video where I talked about looking for a pitch up in the zone, being aggressive to hit that high, high fastball. Um, this is, I guess, the, essentially the opposite approach. This is to look for something down in the zone to wait a little bit longer. Now, the only reason why this would be um, the appropriate approach is because at higher levels, pitchers are going to be able to hit their spots, hit their locations, and their job, they're going to get paid to keep the ball down, down in the zone. So you have to make the adjustment. You have to look for something down in the zone, something that you can drive down in the zone. And sometimes that means hitting the pitcher's pitch. Now, I'm not, I'm not, at the same time, you need to look for something that you can drive. You need to look for your pitch, but you need to understand what the pitcher's been throwing, what his tendencies are in particular situations. And that basically comes down to knowing what he's throwing in a given situation. And, you know, if you're the eighth hitter in the lineup and this is your first at-bat, you should already have seven at-bats in, you know, in your belt, under your belt. So understand what the pitcher's throwing and attack what you think you're going to get. It's not guess hitting. Well, I mean, it is guess hitting, but it's an educated guess. Lastly, forget about full extension, guys. I know you hear a lot of coaches talk about getting full extension. This is a pitch right here that Mike Trout could have easily got full extension on. I mean, it was a pitch middle in, and he could have hit it out in front of the plate, but he didn't. He let the ball travel. And I think that this is a true testament to why he's been able to, to hit for such a high average his first two years in the big leagues. He's not afraid to, to hit the ball middle away. And and even, even if that means sacrificing a little bit of power, because he knows that eventually he's going to get his opportunities to, to really drive the ball. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below in the, in the comment section down below, and let me know whose swing you'd like to see next. Yeah, if you haven't done so already, go on over to artofbaseball.net by clicking the box to the left and sign up to the newsletter to get access to content that I only provide for people in the newsletter. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button to the right so you guys never miss another video. I will talk to you guys later.